heave ho, the captain's left behind again. We'll raise the anchor, then we'll sail the deep blue sea. A heave ho, a heave ho, the captain's left behind again. We'll raise the anchor, then we'll sail the deep blue Welcome everybody, the Mayor, councillors, visitors and residents of Lyme Regis welcome one and all to this annual ceremony of the blessing of the boats which is such an important part of the calendar here in Lyme Regis. Of course there is some added poignancy this year as we mark some very important anniversaries which are taking place in 2024. 2024 marks the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings, the 30th anniversary of the formation of the National Coast Watch Institute, and 200 years since the RNLI was formed. Traditionally, one of the four wreaths laid by the Royal British Legion team is to remember all those servicemen, both British and Allied, who gave their lives in defence of our realm, as well as all the brave lifeboat crews who also gave their lives to help save lives during both the Great World Wars. This is crafted in red flowers. This year to mark the RNLI 200, the HM Coast Watch's 30th anniversary and last year's His Majesty's Coast Guard anniversaries, we have an all yellow wreath to mark these amazing anniversaries. The other two wreaths are to commemorate all our emergency services involved in assisting people in difficulty on the coast. And the last one is to remember all who have lost their lives through occupations of the sea or during recreational activities. We will be singing three of the hymns on the sheet that I hope you have received and thank Lyme Regis Town Band for leading us. Today would not be possible without thanks to Alan Vian. Lyme Regis Sailing Club, Lyme Regis Boat Power Boat Club, the Boat Building Academy, Lyme Regis Sea School, Her Mad His Majesty's Coast Guard, RNLI Lyme Regis, Lyme Regis Gig Club, White Knights Kayak Club, Lyme Regis Blue Tits, Lyme Regis Water Polo Club, Lyme Regis Branch of the Royal British Legion, and the harbour master, Mr. James Ratcliffe and his team, all of whom are contributing to today's service. I am the Reverend Sarah Godfrey, the acting team rector of the Golden Cap team, and I will be joined by Alan Vian, um, who will be conducting the prayers from the Baptist Church. The town mayor, Councillor David Sarsons, will read our lesson, and one of our Lyme Regis Sailing School students will recite a piece he has composed, What the Sea Means to Me. Representatives of different organisations, professions and users line the slipway and will be involved in the ceremony when the wreaths are passed down to the lifeboat crew at the end of the slipway. The lifeboat is usually escorted by a Cornish gig pilot boat crewed by the Lyme Regis Gig Club on its passage to the reef laying area. But due to racing commitments, a crew is not available today and possibly by craft from Lyme Regis Sailing Club and the Lyme Regis Power Boat Club. After the lifeboat has left the harbour, we will conclude by saying the grace and the band will begin to play for us. 
But now we begin by raising our voices to sing together. For this year, we have also included a special verse for this beautiful hymn, which was specially written to be sung at the RNLI's 200th anniversary service of Thanksgiving in Westminster Abbey on the 4th of March. Please join us in singing Eternal Father, Strong to Save. ago this place received the name of Lyme because the monks from Sherborne Abbey used to extract sea salt from the mouth of the River Lim for the benefit of the Abbey. Through the centuries since then local people have busied themselves with building boats and ships and with putting to sea, some for fishing, some for trading across the English Channel and far beyond some serving in the Royal Navy, merchant marines, 
and the RAF Marine Craft Rescue Unit stationed here. Some for sheer pleasure along this magnificent coastline and some to rescue others at sea or along the coast. Here in Lyme Regis, we cannot help but be proud of this long and full tradition of seafaring and of all the people who continue and develop it in our own day. Especially we are proud of those volunteers who serve as crew on our lifeboat and of those who support them, both at the station and in all their fundraising activities. Today we are grateful to our local branch of the RNLI for help in organising the practicalities of this service. It is particularly fitting that 2024 marks the 200th anniversary of the formation of the RNLI under the patronage of its founder, Sir William Henry. We now sing the first verse of the national anthem which the town band will lead. <laughs> Let us pray. Almighty God, Lord of heaven and earth, sky and sea, ruler of the waves, we thank you that you are the rescuing God. You are the Lord who, when we were far off, lost and hidden, you set out to find us. You sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from all the perils of the journey of life. We thank you, Lord God, that you are the one who hears us when we call, and you bring us to a safe harbour, even heaven itself. We gather at this boathouse and at the water's edge to remember before you the work of men and women who go to sea, often in difficult conditions. We come to give thanks for all the skills we need to venture out on the water and for the joy and pleasure Lime Bay gives to us. We meet on this day, which is set apart, to bring to you our worship and thanksgiving and to seek your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we join together in singing, Lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us.
there. Leo is uh, the son of um, Matt Addison Drage, the Lyme Regis Launching Authority. And uh, Leo has written a poem, What the Sea Means to Me. Afterwards, um, when we finish the service, you need to sing happy birthday to Leo because he's going to be 10 tomorrow. Over to you, Leo. What the sea means to me is it sewage or poo or pee or a feeling of freedom and glee when I paddle my canoe and say how do you do to the seagull that keeps playing me the boats all bob about the lifeboat launch on a shout but not even the mare has the clout of a day by the sea with my snorkel out we may have the rain today the mist and the murk and the gloom but chin up chaps, it's Lyme Regis and soon it's going to be June. Beach up green, beach up blue, ice cream and suntans for you. A sailing boat, a paddle float, a beach with a cobble or two. The salty sea, the sparkling sand, a summer beach for me just land. To sea lads, that's where it's at. Grab your tiller and your ship's cap. The sun is the best but a storm is a test for a perilous lifeboat crew. So our boats we bless, may they stand the test with stout quit, kit, equipment and crew. Thanks to the vicar for coming, for your wisdom and thoughtful address. Humbly, with, so we thank you most deeply, humbly and meekly for the bobbing boats that you bless. <laughs> I'm now going to introduce the mayor, who doesn't have much clout. Um, <laughs> David Sarsons is going to bring the reading for us. David, can you use this mic? Thank you very much. Thank you, Sarah. I don't think I can beat that. That was really beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, the lesson, the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. Jesus calms the storm. That day, when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along. Just as he's in the boat, there were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him up and said to him, teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up rebuked the wind and said to the waves quiet be still then the wind died down and he was completely calm he said to his disciples why are you so afraid do you still have no faith they were terrified and asked each other who is this even the wind and the waves obey him thanks be to god thank you Thank you, Your Worship. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'd like you to join us in time of prayer. And during the prayers, I'm going to say, when I say the words, Jesus, Prince of Peace, please will you respond with, hear our prayer. Jesus, Prince of Peace. When dangers invade our sense of safety, when our sense of security is shaky, and we wonder if our Redeemer cares, Jesus, Prince of Peace. For those who feel overwhelmed by the waves of life or cast adrift and feeling as though they are about to drown, Jesus, Prince of Peace. For those caught in the storm and horror of war and terror, remembering together our brothers and sisters in the countries of Ukraine, Sudan, Gaza, Israel, Jesus, Prince of Peace. For the families and friends of those who have lost their lives at sea, may they know comfort, peace, and calm in the storm of their grief. Jesus, Prince of Peace. For the lifeboat crews and the coast guards around our coastlines and all who seek to keep us safe when we take to the water. Jesus, Prince of Peace. For those who risk their lives on the water every day to escape fear and persecution, Jesus, Prince of Peace. 
for God's blessing on all who depend on the sea for their livelihood, that they may bear much fruit from their labours. Jesus, Prince of Peace. For all who visit here to find rest and refreshment from their busyness and the storminess of life, Jesus, Prince of Peace. And when our lives or the lives of those we love feel chaotic and desolate because trouble or illness or sorrow prevails, Jesus, Prince of Peace. And now I'd like you to join with me as we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. in the love and mercy of God the Father of us all, we pray for his blessing on all who sail from this harbour, and especially on all members of the lifeboat crew. And to God's gracious mercy and protection we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you safe. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and give you peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you all, <coughs> always. Amen. I'm now going to sing, I, the Lord of Sea and Sky. You'll find it on the song sheet.